Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. This is the companion YouTube channel to www.texasflycaster.com where you can go to find highly detailed information about fly fishing in Texas. Hi guys and welcome to the Friday Fly Fishing Report. It's the last Friday in May, May 29th and as you can see we've changed our direction here once again because of the rains here in North Texas. We must have had a few inches of rain last night and uh, still threatening to rain this morning. Uh, let me start off by saying this is the perfect opportunity to go to www.texasflycaster.com and check out a fish flash I have there for fishing I did yesterday on Lake Ray Roberts tells you how to actually access the lake need a kayak and it's also got details on how to fish it right now so there's fish there to be caught and it's a paid subscription read on that so pay your 10 cents put it in the slot and read a great story if you're in North Texas hey it may be flooded it may be raining but there's still fish to be caught and you know that is the story our thoughts and prayers and everything goes out to those folks in the hill country who have had great losses there and of course we've had material losses here not so much a loss of life but a lot of lot of damage a lot of damage and it continues so they are saying that actually the next three or four days the pattern is changing to a drier pattern with only a 10 percent chance of rain which is that's an everyday thing so that means we're getting back to weather pattern that's just like every day this time of year uh, so that makes that fish flash on the website even more you know powerful and more um, prescient to today's fly fishing demands you know we've had huge damages to beavers been broken bow area due to the flooding there epic is not the word anymore biblical is the word we use if you look back in the stories during the week you know we've gone from from epic this week to biblical and so it's really unbelievable what we've seen from five years of drought to a year and a half worth of rain in a month's time so anyway hang in there the water's going to go down it always does just like it i guess it always goes up if uh, you're looking to fish on the Texas Gulf Coast, you got your problems on the on the um, inshore fisheries right now because there's a lot of fresh water going that way. Um, there's only one place on the coast of Texas really that is not subject to this kind of uh, reduced salinity, and that is uh, the lower lagoon in Madre, South Padre Island. There's no rivers that feed into that area, and that area should still be stable as far as salinity and the fishing will probably all migrate down that direction for those of you who uh, really want an un, unfettered opportunity to uh, taste the uh, the salt fly fishing that texas has to offer basically all your inland fresh waters are messed up right now and that's because of the the rains and the flooding in the in the lakes and carrying down into the rivers and all the way course to the coast so keep that in mind do do not do anything risky or foolish the story I wrote and uh, researched yesterday on the water at Lake Ray Roberts uh, you probably want to take somebody with you but it's still very safe outing and one that uh, is uh, is you'll find yourself alone probably with nobody else on near you accepting that this weekend and this story should lead to uh, a few people showing up i'll be there today i'll be there tomorrow and i'll be there on sunday at the location i've given you in that story so if you want to show up great it's a midday fish and the target is carp carp on the fly and i've seen the largest carp i have ever seen on lake ray roberts in this location so keep that in mind Coming in the future, we're going to uh, also be adding another kind of another twist to the Texas Flycaster broadcast, and that is we're going to use Periscope to live broadcast. You may have seen my Periscope uh, channel pop up last week for the floods and things like that. Well, we're going to use Periscope a lot more, and that is an interactive live feed that you can ask questions on. And what I'll do is I'll combine that and this, this YouTube broadcast with Periscope. 
And that way I can take your questions right here live and they'll also be repeated and recorded for the YouTube channel. Have a great weekend. This promises to be a very good weekend for fly fishing in North Texas as far as getting a line wet. So be sure you read that story. Contact me if you have any questions. Text message me if you want to know exactly when I'm going to be there. And uh, I'll be glad to meet you out there and we'll go fishing. All subscribers are welcome, paid subscribers to the website are welcome to, uh, to go fishing with me anytime. So that's one of the perks of being a paid yearly subscriber to Texas Flycaster. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Stay safe, stay dry, and there's nowhere to go but up from here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. Thanks also goes out to the sponsors. If you need more information, be sure to visit www.texasflycaster.com. And if you have any information about fly fishing in Texas, feel free to share it, and we'll be glad to get it on the report.